guys? Tech Tony here, Pathfinders No Marketing. Thanks for joining us here. When we're going over remove multiple business profiles and removing a business from maps. Now, as recording this, it's 06 27 2024. This is how it's currently running. These re new regulations actually just came out within this week and are being applied overall. Google my business profiles in the next 15 days. So this is new stuff right here, some new updates. Uh, as of recording this, it is raining and I'm a single dad. It's summer and my small child is behind this camera. So I'm sorry about any of the noise that makes it through when it comes to editing. But as always, like, share, and comment if you find this information uh, useful. It really helps to keep the channel and all the content free. So let's say you're going to remove multiple business profiles. Now remember, you have to already have access to these business profiles. If you don't, that's a whole other separate video in itself on my YouTube channel. Or if you need some information, just feel free to hit me up on TikTok or I mean, I'm sorry, on Twitter, X, or on Facebook. So providing that you already have access to it, go ahead and log into your Google My Business profile that is associated, that email that's associated with the listing. So here we have a client of mine that has a multiple listings. Uh, they have nothing to do with each other and wants to get rid of them. So first thing first, click the check mark right here. Scroll up to actions, click the actions. Down the way down, you should see remove business. So we're not, it's open. We're not marking temporary close. We're not marking permanently close. We are removing the business listing. Hit remove business. Now you're going to see all this information, you know, make sure you have no Google ads running, anything else. And it, this is just deletes it all. There's no pictures, anything, a uh, manager or an owner added. It, this is getting rid of it. Okay. We're removing it from the internet. Click remove. And for me, this should update. Now as you see, this is now loaded. It should be gone. Now there is one more thing. I recommend doing and that is removing it from the maps now. So here we have that same business. Let me move my face over here. There it is right there. They don't want this existing anymore. You see there's that sign there. Things are deleting now. So normally this doesn't happen that fast. So what you're going to do is go here on your desktop computer. Now I should have said this earlier. All this is easier from a desktop computer. Go to suggested edits. Once again, using the email that you have this registered to or did. Close or remove. Now you're going to want to go all the way down here. Hang on. So this is the part where Google's instructions, which they just apparently updated, gets a little confusing because an instruction clearly states um, after clicking suggest and edit number four, Click close and remove. And as you can see on my screen, there's no more close or remove. So what you're supposed to click now, there are two options. Primarily, you can click other reasons, but it's do not doesn't exist here. And you click that. So you're suggesting that maps remove ceramic pro by New York customs. It really doesn't exist here, blah, 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 blah. Now, if you happen to have pictures, you can add pictures. If not, that's fine. But then you just have to click uh, submit. After click submits, it gives us a little thing here. Just follow the on-screen instructions. And then thanks for compu uh, uh, contributing. Now, there might be some emails suggested through here. Now, as a manager, I'm going to get these emails and the improvement process. Uh, someone else might get them. You might get them. But it started the process of deleting this now off maps. How long does this take? No idea. Google is unclear on that. Now, uh, it does say... If approved, the business is removed from maps. Someone's going to review this. There might be some follow-up questions. If approved is what it says. All right, so let's go over a few of these items here and what your options are and what they supposedly do. Because as usual, even though Google does updates in terms of services, their the rules and regulations are still a bit unclear. So temporary close, it's just a temporary close list. And let's say you got to do some serious construction in your building, you're updating some stuff and you don't want people coming in, but you're still open for services. You're going to want to mark temporary closed. And then also on your website, preferably at the header, 
as a little banner. You can say, hey, temporary closed for in-house services. Please contact us. We're still open. Something to dictate. Because like, remember, Google is going to use your website as a point of reference for updates on Google Maps as part of the crawling index. This is technically some of your off-site SEO. So if you're temporary closed, also mark that on your website and have a date that you're going to be back open where people can come back in and use your products, goods, or services, okay? So now there's permanently closed. This one's a little different. You can mark a business permanently closed. How, however, hang on. However, you should not mark a business permanently closed if you still offer uh if you still offer services outside of your business, say like a plumber had a physical location where they kept spare parts and now they don't have it anymore, but they're still in business, you don't want to mark your listing permanently closed. There's a whole other separate issue for that where you want to turn your business into a service area. So be careful with that one, how you mark it. Does not exist here. We just went over that. Now, duplicate of another place. This was one of those finicky ones us marketers have a hard time with because clients for whatever reason, sometimes businesses will create duplicates of the same business listing, or they might have an employee that's trying to be useful. You're going to want to mark these as, as duplicate listings. This gets a little finicky, especially if locations are too close to each other, which does happen in the real world. There are technically two processes to this. I will make a separate video to the second process, what you can do as a business owner. But this is somebody that can just mark duplicate other places, uh, it sends an alert to the owner of the listing to start combining the two duplicate places. It's a whole other process, a whole other video. Now, harmful or misleading or offensive. Oh, boy. This was interesting because I work with um, politicians and Republicans and Democrats have locations where you can go and volunteer and all that fun stuff, right? Especially during election years. So don't be over here marking things as harmful or misleading, especially if your feelings are hurt over something because that's a Republican building. Don't do that type of stuff. It's for like if it's actually harmful or misleading to the public on what they serve, then go ahead and use that. So next is not open to the public. This kind of goes in congruent with permanently closed. It's like um, service areas, and there's a different way that you can change your business listing from location to a service area instead. Like I say, if you're a plumber, you no longer have a place where people can go to, but you still offer services. Not open to the public generally means you don't want people showing up to your place. Like plumbers that have, uh, they work out of their building, they, I mean, they work out of their car, they work out of their garage, that's what this is for. Now, move to a new location. This is so, so important. I cannot stress this enough because businesses will move to a new location and then they end up duplicating their listing by accident. So move to a new location is pretty cool because pretty cool if you click on it, it has a little map where you can start editing things and putting the new address and whatnot. Now, from the owner perspective, there is a different way to do this. It's a lot easier. It's super fast. Um, if you do this, you might need to re-verify re your listing. Super easy, though. Just move your location, and you're good as gold. Now, others is just unusual. We normally use this if other sections that we need that are what we need the business to do. But Google doesn't approve it. We can go to the others. Um, it doesn't do anything. But what it ends up doing is a communication process between you and a Google rep to start fixing some stuff. Now, remember, Google My Business is a free listing. People that maintain or help Google with this, they're, they're volunteers. It's ran by volunteers, 100%. So be nice to these people when communicating with them, and it should help you with your listing. Found this information uh, useful. Make sure to like, share, comment, and it really helps out with the channel. Have a great day.